Twitter now. We're live on Facebook. We're live on LinkedIn. We're live on YouTube. We're live everywhere to the planet. All right, so let's get straight into this today. Now, today, many people ask me, um, what's the difference between an onion tank and a, and a, and a low-profile, shallow-dig, bullet-shaped septic tank? What's easiest to put in and what's the most cost-effective? So I thought I'd show you, okay? So have a look at this, okay? So let's get straight into this. So what's best, an onion-shaped septic tank or a bullet-shaped, low-profile septic tank? Not only to buy but also to install, okay? So let's have a look here. All right, so here we go. We've got a typical um, scenario here, someone's garden. So let's take the grass away, first of all, okay? So bear with me a second. Grass cover, bam, there we go. All right, so let's start with this. Let's start, and maybe to set the scene, let's just put that there and that there let's put a digger in there we go so to set the scene look at that we've got a digger all right all right all right all right all right so let's start with the onion shaped septic tank okay let's start with the onion shaped septic tank all right so there we go so with the onion shaped septic tanks <laughs> they're very very big <laughs> Even the small onion-shaped septic tanks, you need a very, very big hole. So straight away, you need like a, a five, six, seven ton digger to start, or you need a JCB, right, to install these things. So let me bring up the um, amazing um, onion-shaped septic tanks. Okay, there we go. So that is what a typical onion-shaped septic tank looks like. Now, Wow, well, what can I say? Okay, so let me, if I just get in straight into this, let me show you the difference as well but, or between an onion and a bullet. All right, so here we go. Here we've got two tanks. We've got an onion-shaped septic tank, which you can see here, and you've got a low-profile, shallow-dig bullet septic tank. So straight away, you can see the difference between the two. You can see the difference straight away. These are the small... Uh, septic tank. So these are the baby ones. When I say baby, these will do one to two bedrooms, okay? So you can see that the onion tank is almost twice the height, right, of the shallow dig septic tank, the bullet-shaped septic tank. So, so straight away, you're going to have to, even though the, the onion tank will cost you about 150 quid less up front than the bullet tank, you've got to spend that extra 150 quid that you've saved buying the tank to get a bigger digger to install it. Not only that, the um, onion-shaped septic tank will take you, take you three times longer to install. But it just starts there, okay? I'm not demonizing onion-shaped septic tanks. They were fantastic in their day 30 years ago, but I just want to show you the pros and the cons, okay? Now, with the – so let me show you this. With the bullet-shaped septic tank, you can just backfill them with shingle, all right? Up, and the shingle goes up to about three quarters of the way up the tank. So to backfill around the bullet-shaped septic tank will cost you typically about, I don't know, 100 quid, 150 quid, right? The onion-shaped septic tanks, you have to backfill them with concrete. Otherwise, the manufacturers will null and void the warranty. So you have to backfill them with concrete. So let me just show you this, all right? So unless you put a concrete surround around the onion tank, number one, they're not warranted by the manufacturer, and number two, they'll pop out of the ground, all right? So that's number one. Number two, the concrete. Oh man, the concrete, you're gonna spend six, seven, eight hundred quid concrete in these onion tanks in. And it's no mean feat. I mean, let me just show you this. This is in reality, right? What it looks like to concrete one of those onion tanks. And you can see how much concrete they use. And you can see the amount of money that they're gonna to cost to concrete in. So, yes, all right, you may have saved 150 quid buying your onion-shaped septic tank, but you've just spent another two, 300 quid getting a bigger digger. It's taking you twice, three times as long. And now you're having to spend out six, seven, 800 quid on concreting 
the onion tank in. So that 150 50 quid saving that you thought you were making has now cost you about 1,000 to 1,200 quid by the time you install the septic tank, okay? So not only that, let me show you one more thing as well here, all right? On the onion tanks, nine times out of 10, you've also got to put um, an anchor kind of system on them. You have to basically, let me just make this a bit darker so you can see. Right, can you see there you've got straps? So let me just take that off. Okay, so you can see the straps there. Now, the straps, unless you strap it in, even though you've concreted it in, in many situations, they also have to be strapped in. At the bottom there, you've got a lintel that the straps are attached to, right, like a concrete lintel. So they can either put a concrete lintel and straps around it and then concrete it because you've got to keep it anchored and weighed down. But the point being is, look, you can see, even explaining to you about all the hassle and the effort of um, installing an onion septic tank, it's just getting convoluted now and it's like you're wishing you never kind of started the job. But with the, with the low profile um shallow dig bullet shaped septic tanks they're really simple to put in they really really are i mean there's a quick example you just dig the hole it takes you about 40 minutes to do so backfill with some shingle backfill with some shingle like that then all that you basically do once you've done that you just cover it over with soil job done so that is the pros and cons for me of the difference between an onion shape septic tank and a low profile bullet septic tank so for me personally every single time without question for the reasons i've just shown you i would not hesitate to go for a bullet septic tank you do not save money right so give you right so on the small ones the bullet shaped septic tanks will cost you about 599 you can get an onion small one for about 499 right so you saved 100 quid and you're thinking, brilliant. But by the time I've installed the bullets septic tank, it's going to cost me 599 plus, say, 150 quid in shingle. So it's going to cost me about 699, about 750 by the time I've installed the bullet septic tank, you know, with just materials. The onion one, right? I've had to fork out more money on a digger. So instead of 40 minutes on digging the hole, it's taken a flipping a day to two days to do. I then have to get straps and uh, a lintel to anchor it down. You're looking about another two, 300 quid there. And you've got to concrete the flaming thing in, right? So you've got to concrete the flaming thing in. So you're looking at spending another six, seven, 800 quid on concreting. So a tank that cost me originally 499, uh, originally cost me 499 has now flipping cost me flipping heck another grand to 1200 quid just to install it so if you're asking me huh, which is the cheapest and the easiest to install out the onion tank and the bullet shaped septic tank it's a no-brainer the low profile bullet tank wins every time hands down so the moral of this story is just because the tank right, is about 100 to 150 quid cheaper to buy at the front end, doesn't mean it's going to save you a penny. In fact, they, you know, at the, uh, you know, the merchants, the builders, merchants and stuff, you know, they have them on offer because they shift them. They don't have to install them. They don't have to fork out another 12, 13, 1400 quid to put them in the ground. You do. And once you've started, it will become a nightmare. So it, I've been doing this 20 years. If you want my tip for the day, don't get yourself an onion tank. Get yourself a low profile bullet septic tank technology's moved on it's just made installing uh, things easier and cheaper so there you go for what it's worth that's my tip of the day if you're going to get yourself a septic tank it's a no-brainer get yourself a low profile bullet septic tank so listen thank you very much for watching this live broadcast today if you want uh, if you want more information and free advice then please just visit septictank.co.uk. So listen, have a great afternoon. I'm back later with another live broadcast, but until then, I'll speak to you later.